So friends, I'm not sure if hell has frozen over or if pigs are flying, but believe it or not, the United States Supreme Court just refused to give a Republican billionaire something he wanted. Huh, go figure. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, believe it or not, the Supreme Court just said no to Elon Musk in a case involving Donald Trump's tweets. Let's start with the new reporting. This from CBS News. Headline, Supreme Court won't step into dispute over Jack Smith's efforts to get Trump's X information. That article begins, the Supreme Court said Monday it will not step into a dispute involving special counsel Jack Smith's efforts to obtain records from former President Donald Trump's account on Twitter, now known as X, and keep the social media company from telling him about the demand for the information. In turning away the appeal from X, the court leaves intact a lower court decision that upheld a non-disclosure order that said Smith's request for Trump's social media records must be kept secret for six months. Okay, friends, there's a lot going on in those two sentences, so let's unpack it, let's break it down. Special counsel Jack Smith was, and probably still is, investigating Donald Trump's 2020 election subversion crimes. And as part of that investigation, he got a search warrant for Donald Trump's account information on X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it. Presumably that included information about Donald Trump's private messages, his DMs. And when prosecutors get search warrants or court orders for social media account information or certain cell phone information, text messages, emails, prosecutors also get what's called a non-disclosure order. I used to get them when I was a prosecutor investigating crime and getting these search warrants or these court orders for social media information. What is a non-disclosure order? Well, it's a court order that says the service provider, in this case, Twitter or X, may not. They are ordered not to disclose to the account holder that this search warrant has been authorized and executed and this information has been seized by law enforcement authorities regarding Donald Trump's Twitter account. The service provider is not allowed to tell the account holder. Why do we get these protective orders, these non-disclosure orders? It is to protect the ongoing investigation because, you know, if the minute this search warrant was executed and Twitter was required to give over this information, if, you know, Donald Trump was instantly told, what would he do? Well, maybe he would go out and start tampering with witnesses and evidence. So to preserve and protect the ongoing investigation, we get non-disclosure orders and they say, listen, for six months, Twitter, X, Elon Musk, you cannot inform Donald Trump that this search warrant was executed and that you were lawfully required to give over Donald Trump's Twitter account information. Well, Elon Musk didn't like that very much and he contested the non-disclosure order. X's lawyers contested the non-disclosure order. Why? Well, based on some reporting from NBC, here's why. X's lawyers said that the non-disclosure order violated X's free speech rights. That's right, friends. 
ex's lawyers, and by extension, Elon Musk, contended that they have First Amendment free speech rights. You know, I have to be able to exercise my free speech rights to immediately tell Donald Trump that the feds just seized potentially incriminating information and evidence from his Twitter account. Yeah, I, I have a right to tell him that immediately. You know, Donald Trump might want to get on top of that, and it's my First Amendment right to tell him. I can't be restrained by a non-disclosure order for six months. You know, friends, that's the kind of legal argument that only Judge Aileen Cannon could love. But I have to admit, I thought maybe some of the radical right-wing Supreme Court justices might also go for that argument. You know, guys like Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito and, you know, those of their ilk, you know, the ones who are always kind of cozying up to Republican billionaires and giving them what they want. But fortunately, no, the Supreme Court said to Elon Musk, um, uh, bye-bye, Elon. We're not going to review this case. We're not going to hear your argument that this non-disclosure court order designed to protect ongoing investigations somehow violates your First Amendment free speech rights. So has my faith been restored in the Supreme Court? No, hell has not frozen over. But let me leave you with this, friends, as we approach the November 5th election day and we are concerned about the direction our democracy might take, will it survive or will it be destroyed by Donald Trump being that he is an aspiring day one dictator and he, ha he has said that he will terminate portions of the Constitution and he will weaponize the Department of Justice to go after his perceived enemies as we approach election day. Keep this in mind. Back in 2020, when Donald Trump's dirty lawyers, many of them now his indicted co-conspirators, others unindicted co-conspirators at the moment, when his dirty lawyers filed more than 60 bogus, frivolous, baseless lawsuits in federal courts all across the country, when the Supreme Court had an opportunity to take some of those cases up for review, when the Supreme Court in 2020 had the chance to corruptly throw the election to Donald Trump even though he lost it, they declined to do it. They didn't take up a single case. They did not assist Donald Trump in his desperate determination to retain the power of the presidency after he lost the election. Now, like I say, do I have any faith or trust in the Supreme Court? Have they shown themselves to be loyal to the Constitution or the rule of law? No. They have shown themselves to be loyal to Donald Trump over and over again, giving him a healthy dose of immunity to commit all the crimes he wants against the American people without being subject to prosecution. So no, my faith has not been restored in this Supreme Court, but I do take some minimal comfort in the fact that when they had every opportunity in 2020 to corruptly throw the election to Donald Trump, they steadfastly refused to do it. Let's hope they again refuse to take up whatever bogus, frivolous, baseless lawsuits Donald Trump's new batch of dirty lawyers, should they choose to sign on to Donald Trump's criminal schemes in 2024, after seeing what happened to all of Donald Trump's dirty lawyers in 2020 who signed on to Donald Trump's criminal schemes, if a new batch of dirty lawyers decides to try it all over again, let's hope that the Supreme Court does exactly what it did in 2020 and refuses to take up those cases, refuses to corruptly throw the election to Donald Trump, who will lose. 
he will lose come November 5. Maybe the Supreme Court has a little bit of a reserve of loyalty to the law and the Constitution and a little bit of concern and regard and respect for the American people and the American voters. Let's hope that to them, you know, justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.